Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to another vlog. Nowadays, connected car is the norm and Volkswagen is no exception to this. Uh, we have the Virtus with us, the top line model. And it is a connected car and it comes with connected car tech. It is provided by Geo. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to access the Volkswagen Connect app. What are the options that we get there? And what are the feature does that off app offers? I am an Android user, so I'll be showing you on an Android phone. Volkswagen Virtus offers three year of free subscription with the top line model and the GT model. Uh, you can also purchase this connected car tech separately. Firstly, we'll go to the Play Store. We'll search for Volkswagen Connect. This is the name of the Volkswagen Connect app and uh, the first option that comes my Volkswagen Connect. So this is the app. I already have the app downloaded in my phone. So let's open the app. So first time when you open the app, it will ask you for the registered mobile number. Make sure you enter this mobile number that you have given to your dealership while purchasing the car because that number will be registered with your chassis number and VIN number and you will be able to access the Volkswagen Connect app using that number. So I'm just going to input my number there and press OK. So I'll get an OTP in my phone which I need to enter. One few seconds to verify the OTP and connect to the app. Also make sure you have your location on because without that the app will not work. So I have switched on my location. So in the first startup, it will give you how the uh, app works, what information you can uh, you can view in the app. The car health and diagnosis, real time alerts, notification, etc., etc. Trip analysis, driver behavior, geofencing. So these are all the things that you can uh, do using the Volkswagen Connect app. Now we are going to get started with the application. So this is the default screen that you get once the app is loaded. On the top, you see your vehicle profile. We have the device IMEI, year of make, model, uh, fuel type, car number, everything here. Uh, if you have multiple Volkswagen cards, you can just scroll it right and left to get to the other cards. If they also support the connected card app. On the top left you have the menu option so here you can update your name your number uh, you have the option to set emergency help these are a few emergency helpline numbers that you have whom you can contact in case of any emergency you can also add an emergency contact number that is uh, that may be a number of anyone from your family or friends whom uh, you can you you whom you do like to contact in case of an emergency and once you add it if you go to the send sms to all option the app will send an option sms to that person uh, showing that you are in emergency and you need help let me go back on the right top end we have the notification option so here you will get all the notifications alerts and faults if your car is giving you any alert, you will get it here. We don't have any alert right now, so it is blank. Now, below the menu button, we have the SOS button. So this is again the emergency help button. Once you press it, you can ask for emergency help. You can send SMS to any of the emergency contacts that you have added, or you can also request for a roadside assistance. Parallel to its right, you have the car health button. So once you press it, you can see the vehicle status so our car is currently parked so that's why it's showing a sleep and also the vehicle health you can see here please note uh, all this information engine coolant temperature air intake engine load ambient air temperature it is showing as zero because currently the car is at a stationary position and parked once you start driving the car you can come back to this menu and here you can see the real-time data 
of what is the coolant temperature what is the engine load and etc currently you cannot watch it because our car is parked in between the current state of the car is being shown like currently since our car is parked it is showing us engine ignition off above it you have the kilometer per hour dial keep on increase so it will increase as you as and when you pick up the pace currently it is parked so it's not moving and just below it on the left hand side you have the rpm meter again when the car is moving this will increase on the right left you have the engine temperature and also the status of the battery again this uh, when the car is moving this will be activated and you can see the actual information below that you have the current vehicle location so if you press this option app will take you to the car's last park position so this is where our car is being parked so it shows this position you have few options on the right side you have a i button where you can see what location it is currently parked apart from that you have an option to see what are the points of interest around you so it will give you a lot of options of like petrol pump parking spaces service centers and restaurants pubs atms as per your current location below that you have a option to set the geofencing once you click this option volkswagen would ask your permission to access a device location so we give the permission now it's going to track where exactly our car is located so this is where it is located we are just going to save it and give a geofence name let's say we give one and geofence type we have to select the type so it's like a fence which we you can add in your current location so if your vehicle goes out of this location you will get a notification that your vehicle has moved out of your location so this really helps in tracking the your vehicle so we'll go back so below the geofence option you have this button which you press it will the app will help you to go to your car so it's like a small guidance it will show you a route with which you can reach your car below the i option there is an option with which you can set any route so let's say you want to go to any place for your from your current location you can set that route you can also save it if you travel frequently to that route or you can choose any one of the routes so just type in a route let's say south city mall which is one of the very famous malls in south kolkata and it shows you the estimated time of arrival which is 60 minutes you can also have the option to save the route and all so this is the route that is currently shown from your current location to the south city mall but not exactly gps it will not guide you it will just save the route and help you check it when you want to go to this location below the option to set the route you have another option to current quickly go to the current location which is the same uh, that the location pointer given in google maps and below that again sos button is there which also which functions in the same way you can find emergency help now we go back at the bottom of the app you again have this option of geofencing which is the same thing that you that i have shown just now if you go to the trips it will show you all the trips that you have taken for the day also you can filter it by date by type whether it's personal or business so this shows all the trips that i have taken recently in the last 30 days so here you see you have a rating in my last trip i have i was rated 5 star by the app because i ha- i didn't do any harsh braking i didn't do rapid acceleration over speeding sharp turns or any road deviation so 
this is like a small rating or feel good factor it will help you to you know, drive in a better way so that you can extract the maximum mileage out of your car also it keeps it will good driving habit keeps the vehicle health in a very good shape then we have the records option so here you can list down all your fuel records if you had any accidents for the maintenance bills and also you can store your documents but you can also access the fuel log like i keep a record of all the fuel logs that has been done like i keep a record of all the fuel logs so these were the last two logs that i have i also have if i go to the plus option i have an option to create another fuel log and on the last option is again the point of interest option which i have already shown you is the same thing just there is a different button so this was all about the Volkswagen connect app um, i have shown you all the options that is available there what all you can check or what all you can do with your app like other oems provide you with an app that has a lot of functionalities like you can switch on the ac you can switch start the engine etc etc but this app does not has it it has all the basics covered but nothing fancy or nothing over the top i think now you have an understanding what the volkswagen connect app offers you and what you can do with the app and various features functionalities that comes with the app thank you for watching the video uh, do subscribe to the channel and like the video and also share it see you in our next video thank you and take care